Hi guys, here to talk about a uh, historical album. I was listening to it and while I'm here, I put it back. So this one is Europe, the final countdown 1986, of course, yes. So this one is a strange edition be just because it's red. How many CDs in red do you have? I don't know, I bought it maybe in a market or, some, or something. So I don't know if it's the original one or maybe someone just changed this one. But anyway, maybe the most popular uh, album by the band, by Europe, by... So let's, let's have a look first at the packaging where there's nothing to see apart from the red thing and the booklet, which if I remember well, is very plain, but you know, clear clear you got all the lyrics clean clear and you got all the photos you know <laughs> who is who sometimes i prefer this ones rather than you know uh, lots of colors and lots of photos and you don't understand anything you know font strange font this one clear finally so all this you can see here because you got all the songs and the composer well, there are no composers. Composers. There is only one composer, which is uh, Joy Tempest, the singer. Apart from one song written by Joy Tempest and uh, the keyboard player, all the rest are Joy Tempest. So this one is famous for you know. You know what we're talking about, right? And this is full of hits and this one will be even the end of the first part of the um, Europe uh, era with uh, John Norum, the guitar player who left the band after this one because he wasn't satisfied with the sound and he said that uh, there are too many keyboards covering the guitars. I totally agree with him. I don't really like the sound. It's a, it's a very good album. It's a pop rock pop hard rock album but very pop because there are lots of keyboards and i will listen to i would rather listen to more guitars instead of more keyboards so i agree with uh, with john norm in here uh, coming to hits we're living together you know how it goes right so this is the the, the final countdown which of course is the opener as well and was a uh, worldwide success. Got Rock the Night, second track, uh, that was released the year before as a single and put into this one, so another one that they know already that it was working. And um, Carrie, another great ballad, great ballad, one of the best ballads of the uh, 80s. Uh, Cherokee, Heart of Stone, not all of them are amazing, but you know, when you have 10 tracks and 6 of them, 7 of them, you want to listen to them again. Joy Tempest here, the singer, is in a perfect shape and all the vocals, you know, are uh, great, very inspired and, you know, he used to have a great voice. He still sings well, but of course he didn't, he doesn't have any more that power, that those notes that he used to have. And John Norum is great, I just listen to Heart of Stone and there is the solo part that is amazing, but all the songs got, you know, some licks, something very interesting. Talking about the CD cover, I've never really uh, had it clear what, what's the message behind. There are dominoes, I don't know, the photos of dominoes out of the world. What's happening in here exactly? I don't know, but it's not, it's not a bad cover, but still, I don't know what's happening. Uh, my rating is 77 out of 100 very good songs uh maybe not a masterpiece but very enjoyable very well played too much pop oriented to me but you know it's it was an important album from for the 80s i have to say three songs i cannot exclude the final countdown very important i remember when i was six seven years old i used to <laughs> love this song uh rock tonight and carry the first three songs three you know breakthrough singles very successful um not skip tracks there are in the second part maybe danger on the track is not my favorite but there are no skip tracks all, all the tracks that you know they make sense in a way so this one is my opinion about this important record for europe and guys you let me know what you think and that's it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already uh, okay let's talk about music as always rock on guys